Welcome to this UWA Study Smarty video all about writing clearly and concisely in crime and society at UWA. I'm Siri Barrett Leonard. I work with the Study Smarter team at the University of Western Australia and this is the third of three videos on this topic. Here we'll look at how to be concise and accurate. Proofread to make sure you've been concise so that every word counts and accurate so that sentences contain correct punctuation, spelling, referencing and grammar. We'll start by looking at some sentences that aren't concise. As you read each one, think about how to trim words and tighten expression. Pause the video if you need to. Here's the first example. It contains a number of vague words. Get rid of any vague words to make the sentence tighter and clearer. Here's another one. This example is cluttered with unnecessary words like which and that. Try to trim unnecessary words from your writing where you can. Take a look at this example next. Here the writers use several words that mean the same thing. Get rid of any doubled words and any other words that are redundant. What do you think of this example? Here the writers used many long phrases where short ones would do. Try to shorten phrases where you can. Here's a final example. The problem is the writer overuses passive voice and nominalizations, which are nouns made from verbs. If we use more active forms, our writing will be more concise. When writing's concise, it's easier to check for accurate expression. The sentences we'll look at next illustrate some common mistakes that have to do with sentence boundaries. In other words, not having control over where one sentence ends and the next one begins. As you look at each sentence, try to spot the mistakes and think about how to fix them. Pause the video while you do this. Have you spotted what's wrong with this sentence? This sentence uses comma splices to join sentences together. To fix comma splices like these, you can either place a full stop, a semicolon, or a coordinating conjunction between them. How about this sentence? What's wrong here? This isn't a sentence at all. It's a sentence fragment. It doesn't contain a subject and a complete verb that shows past, present, or future time. Fix sentence fragments by joining them to another independent clause or by adding a subject and changing the verb to one that shows time. Let's take a look at another example. This is a run-on sentence. It includes several sentences that need to be split up. Here's one way of fixing the sentence using full stops. What do you think of this? If we do this, we've created another problem, choppy sentences. Several short sentences placed one after another like this disturb the flow of writing. Try getting rid of unnecessary words and combining the ideas within one or two sentences if you can. Here's a final example. What's wrong this time? This final sentence is a stringy sentence. It uses the same coordinating conjunction to link a number of independent clauses together. An easy way to fix a stringy sentence is to combine some ideas together into a complex sentence, getting rid of unnecessary words if you can. We've looked at problems with sentence boundaries. Let's take a look now at a few other examples of sentences with common mistakes writers often make. Again, try to identify the mistakes as you read. This is a mistake with spelling. The writers confuse two words that sound exactly the same. Make sure to proofread your work for this mistake. Here there's a problem with apostrophes. Check you've used these correctly when you write. Would have is okay when speaking, but when you write, use correct verb forms.
The mistake here is with pronouns. And this example needs a citation. Make sure to reference ideas you take from other sources. Finally, when you write lists, make sure your grammar makes sense. This applies both to bullet point lists like this and to lists within sentences. In summary, you can make the writing you do for crime and society concise and accurate if you do these things. We hope you've enjoyed this video, the last in a series of three, and that these videos help you write clear sentences, build cohesive paragraphs, and be concise and accurate, so that when you write for Crime and Society, your papers are easy to read and have impact. So long from me, and remember, there's lots of help available from Study Smarter at UWA. For example, you can download survival guides from our website, these are handy one-page advice sheets on topics that can help you with your studies. You can also get other Study Smarter YouTube screencasts to help with your writing. Good luck with your writing, and see you soon.